guy just on the beat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and if you're new that means you're not subscribed so stop take a second and subscribe if you like also follow me over on my Instagram I'm trying to hit 10k so help your girl out also before I get into this video I would like to stop and do a subscriber shout out I gotta my phone. well I don't know what my phone is and I'm trying to like get through this so I'm gonna put two this for this video but I just won't know which which comment yet but both of them will be on the screen thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video and to comment if you would like to have a subscriber shout out you don't have to technically be a subscriber just comment something genuine and i'll put you in the video so for today's video as you guys can tell by the title i'll be doing a how to start a youtube video i'm thinking about doing like a series because i have a lot of people that's like from my hometown people that I know personally who when I like give the idea of starting a channel because of like what they do they always just be like oh I can't start a channel because I don't have this or I don't have that or da 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 when it's really not that hard to actually like start a YouTube channel so that's what this video is going to be so we're about to just go ahead and get into the video okay guys so I have my YouTube note uh I have my YouTube notebook so this is no a notebook that like I gave the specific job for to use like all of my YouTube stuff in like I have a page but I have a page full of like YouTube ideas to kind of help me and then one thing I like to do also is to not like to kind of like plan out my videos but not like plan them out just kind of give them a structure I guess you can kind of say but yeah so that's kind of what I do in this notebook or write down how I would like to structure certain videos or whatever whatever so this is the page that has to do with I'm trying to cook as you can see how to start a YouTube channel so all right I had to give a quick thumbnail so jumping right into like how to start a YouTube channel I'm looking at my notebook like I said before number one just start y'all the hardest part of starting a YouTube channel literally is starting it. So, and when I say starting a YouTube channel, I don't mean like just pitiful, not pitiful, but like not just like the basic, oh, just record a video and upload it. No, like make sure that you have your channel set up. Like if you have a Google account, like a Google email, you have a YouTube. Just actually like set it up. Make sure you have like a, a nice profile picture. Get you, create you a, a banner for your channel, an intro and an outro. And like just set up your channel. Like literally, if you look at my channel now, my banner I created myself and my intro slash outro. It's really just the intro, but I use it for both. I've made myself literally just look up videos it's so many videos on youtube about how to create all of the stuff you need for your channel you just have to like take the time and actually do it like i think it probably took me like an hour and 30 minutes to create my intro my banner and all of that and that's like watching the video stopping it doing what they doing but how i want it done like stuff like that so literally i'll try to find like videos that like i personally like watched and found helpful to do what i need to do and i'll try to link like maybe one or two down below or even the channel Cause i believe it's one girl like i watched her video for my intro and for my banner and i could create it easy she used free apps and everything so i'll try to find her channel and link it down below so that's step one just start and set up your channel second we're going to actually get into equipment because that's one of the biggest things that people always like to use as an excuse that they do not have the equipment to start a youtube so number one, when I started my YouTube channel like three, four years ago, I used my iPhone. I still have the same iPhone that I use to record my videos, iPhone 6. If I started with an iPhone 6 and half of y'all out here now with iPhone 11s, 12s, whatever, y'all can start a YouTube channel. Like you got the phone. And if you don't have the phone, well if you do have a phone but you want to get a camera, the camera that I'm currently recording on is a Canon SX730HS. I got it off of Amazon, I got a kit. The entire kit was like $400 back when I got it. I'll link the video down below when I did the unboxing for this camera. I've had this camera for a few years. I use it back and forth with my phone depending on what I'm trying to record. But if you, don't, if you do not want to get a camera, you do not have to get a camera. You can use your phone. The phones that they're creating now have wonderful, like great cameras. I just got the iPhone 12. I'll be doing a what's on my iPhone soon. But I got an iPhone 12 
and the camera is magnificent it's crazy how good the camera is so you can definitely use it to record and you can record in HD so you do not need like an actual camera you can just use your phone if you have an iPhone iPhones come with iMovie for free when, like, when it's time to edit. So you got your recording agent, your phone, or if you want to get a camera, you can invest in a camera. But I recommend using a phone to begin with. You have an iPhone, you get iMovie for free. So you can do your um, editing on iMovie. And then just something to make your thumbnails on. I use the app called Thumbnail Maker. It no longer is available on iPhone, like in the App Store, which I'm glad I still have it on my older phone. But I use that. But you can use um, just like, you can use Canva. You can use just regular editing apps, just know the dimensions. You can use Fonto, I use Fonto as well sometimes. So free apps, you got a phone already, or you can just invest in the camera and iMovie is free. Boom. Oh yeah, and CuteCut. I also use CuteCut to edit my videos sometimes. That's like $5.99 for the pro so that you don't have the CuteCut in the corner. Also free. Also with equipment, you I would highly recommend a tripod. I didn't start with a tripod, but you can definitely start with a tripod. I recommend it. Um. Currently, I use, which we'll get into light, and I used a ring light for my tripod, but right now, I'm actually using um, the tripod that I linked in my blog, the blog where I went to my pole class. I linked that down there. I'll also link it in the video as well, but you do not actually need a tripod. You can do a two-for-one. Just get your ring light, and you got your light, and your tripod all in one. I would recommend that to begin with, or you can just invest in a separate tripod, which I like better. Looking at it now, because I can get like a different kind of angle and also have like lights so that's just that but i have my ring light that i'm using in my tripod link down below i'm using currently my ring light and softbox light you do not need softbox lights <laughs> i actually started off with um outside lights like first it was lamps then i went to i had actually made a light i actually got a video on it <laughs> so i'll link that as well if you want to see it so yeah that's for for equipment like i said bottom line like if you want to get the bare minimum I would just do my phone. I would do if you don't want to want to get a ring light, you can make shift a tripod and use like lamps. Cause that's what I did. <laughs> like when I first started. That's all I had. And then like I said, I movie is free. So bare minimum, but I'll have extra stuff linked down below if you want to be that YouTuber that just pops out with everything, then you can do that as well. Next step, I have plan and create. And when I say that, I say think of what you think of what you want to create and just make the video. But before you just make the video, like research, like one thing that I like to do is I like to watch other people's things, not to copy them, but to just like see like what other people are doing, what's like, what's different and see how I would like to structure my video. Like, or like I did, I'm doing a waxing video, like where I wax myself. I watch other people's videos of them waxing their self, not to copy exactly what they're doing, but to see what they're doing. To see like how they have their camera set up, see if maybe I want to try that out, or to see um how again how they structure it. Maybe did they wax like their face, their arms, their legs, like what parts of their body did they wax? Did they wax everything? Not everything. How much did they show? Like just to kind of get an idea and just watch a few videos to see what you like. Cause you're new to YouTube, you're new to making videos, you don't really know your recording type until you kind of get into it. So that kind of helps you to get started. And also that helps you to find different video ideas. Maybe you was just thinking to wax like your underarms but you see that everybody is waxing doing brazilian waxing so you can be like well you know what i'm gonna do underarms and brazilian wax that way i can get all those people who's watching brazilian waxes and then i got something new going on like it just kind of helps you to think just the, the bounce it's like a way of bouncing ideas off of other people without actually communicating with other people <laughs> And then also the more you know the easier it is for you to actually like create the video like if you don't know anything you just jump straight in you're not going to have like that clear flow of your video because you're trying to think off the top of your head off of everything when you can either like get inspiration for other people and research it or you can do like how i do i like to kind of like write it out look at it talk to myself about it see how it sounds how i should like what should come first what should come next stuff like that so just plan and create next step find what works for you i still haven't done this because i just i i feel like i'm not ready to niche down yet which just means to find your genre of videos you're going to make and make all of those genres of videos like a few that i like to watch i like to watch people who main niche is like what i eat in the days whether that's like vegan losing weight gaining weight whatever i just love what i eat in the days like makeup lifestyle try on hauls just beauty in general like my channel i call i just say it's lifestyle 
and beauty. Lifestyle and beauty, I think that's really all I do. Yeah, lifestyle and beauty. Because I do bra lifestyle and beauty. Or like one person I know, they niche down to OnlyFans content. Like most of their channel is OnlyFans based with like a few other videos sprinkled around. So you, you can definitely like niche down. That helps for you to get people who are going to like binge watch your channel. Because if they watch one video and they really like it, they're going to come to your channel to see if they can find more videos of that type. And if you have just a variety of videos and only one of those, then they're not going to subscribe because you're only making, they're going to think that's the only one you're going to make. And they, that's the only video they're going to watch. So you can either niche down because of that reason or you don't have to like me, I don't. I just make video like little playlists. So if I make a video that works good. I just make a few more videos about that, put in the playlist, and then I move on to whatever else I, I want to make. But that's just me. You can do whatever you want to do. Like I said, it's up to you. Once you create a variety of videos and you figure out what you like or what your audience like, I recommend just like kind of riding that wave and make more videos of that kind. Or just listen to your audience and see what they want to see or what they might ask. You might show one thing, they ask you something else. You can make a video about what they asked you about. It be it really be sometimes that simple. And then the last step that I have or the last like tip that I have is to just be consistent I am working on being consistent I'm not as consistent as I would like to be but I am definitely working on it my goal like my small goal to my bigger goal right now is to at least upload four videos a month not on a time schedule nothing just at least four videos a month that's my goal but I know a lot of people they like to upload like once a week some people do twice a week every few days i used to try to do every five days but again it just be i'm trying to work on getting there but you can also check once you have analytics to look at you can also check your analytics to see when your people are on youtube so if they're only up there once a week then you'll know okay i want to upload once a week or if they're up there twice a week maybe you want to upload twice a week or every few days whatever but whenever you find a nice schedule just stick to it be consistent the more videos that you post the more likely that your content is going to get pushed out the more likely you create a video that has a chance of going viral or just getting a lot of views or just bringing in a lot of subscribers or once you become monetized i will be creating a video on how to become monetized once you're monetized then you could be creating videos that could make you a good bit of money like my video on um, how i ship from home using wigs that video has made me a good amount of money. I didn't expect that, but it just, it works. And going back to niching down, I could niche down to business because a lot of my business videos do really good, but I don't know what I'm gonna niche down to yet. But anyway, so like I said, just be consistent, as consistent as you possibly can. Don't post three videos in a month and then go ghost for two months and then come back and think that your channel is gonna be at 15,000 subscribers. No, you have to be, as consistent as possible be consistent with what you post when you post how you like edit just try to be consistent to give them something that they that they can get used to and want to see more of but those are my few tips on just getting started on youtube that's all you need to do to get started and you can literally do this and get started tomorrow it's i promise it's not hard so if you have any other questions that maybe i didn't answer in this video or just specific things that maybe i can make another video to help you out with comment down below let me know i would love to help you guys because i really feel like youtube like anybody can do youtube youtube is just so broad where anybody can do it so I just try to recommend everybody to at least give it a try. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Cinebabe gang gang. <laughs> but anyway, this is Sin signing off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Love you guys.